Good afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds for everybody to get on. Let me make sure I can hear myself on this side and turn my phone down. Um, let me see here. I'm making a Barbie inspired tote bag. So with all of this beautiful hot pink and lovely stuff that we've got here, um, the the vinyl just came in. So this is a sample that I got and I'm like, oh yeah, we're getting that. Um, I've had the webbing for a long time. So it's just all kind of getting together. Perfect. All right, so I can see comments. When they come in i can see you guys there too hello hello all right so i've got two bobbins full i've got everything ready to go i've got my diet dr pepper i've got my popcorn to snack on because i have to snack as i move along okay i'm not really doing this in any particular order i'm going to try to get all the straps and all those um connectors and things like that done first so that way it it's a little bit more cohesive just to kind of keep things going. So how was your guys' uh, weekend? Did you guys have fun? I'm not sure if any of you follow me on Facebook, um, but if you do, then you know that my daughter had her quinceanera this weekend and it was amazing. And it's, I'm still recovering. <laughs> I'm still recovering. Oh yeah. Okay. I even did my nails to be pink because I knew I was gonna do the Barbie inspired bag today. So to match with my accent colors and everything. Set those aside. And actually I have two more of those. Yeah, okay, good. I've got all my hardware over here, everything else. I think I got everything this time. Like this may be the first time guys that I've done a live that I'm actually ready. Might be, might be. <clears throat> so I came in early this morning. We, um, my instructor who does my camps, her daughter is sick, so she had to call off. So I was like, okay, I'll be there. So. Miss Marquez in the other room. We, we uh, tagged each other out. <laughs> super excited we got lots of good things happening guys so the others so I've officially asked my husband to move out of the premises of the sewing studio because he used to rent out the other half of it because I didn't need all 3,600 square feet when I first moved in so he used it to use just storage and things like that it was great because it was a great help for me not have to pay the full bill by myself um, but at this point now it's with the new industrial sewing machines and us doing alterations and custom things and things like that, it's it's expanded to the point where we needed all of the space. So he's now in the process of moving his things out while we get our new space put up. middle of the day I was gonna try to do it later today but then I got called in early so I was like let me just go ahead and get it done earlier and hopefully people can get it on the on a repeat or something just burning off those edges a little bit hello guys 
How are you? Just want to make sure I can see anybody who's in the chat room. If you're tuning in, say hi. Okay, so there's our crossbody strap. I'm kind of mixing in the black nickel hardware with the matte black because I didn't have matte black in these. So that's okay. But that strap is going to look so nice. This hot pink works so well. I've had this pink thread, I don't know, for a couple of years now, and I've never really used it that much. Um, but it is going so well with these colors here. Mm, 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 mm. All right, making my crossbody strap. This bag is gonna have a statement. That's all I gotta say. It's gonna make a statement. For sure. It's gonna like, hey Barbie, let's go party. <clears throat> kind of statement. <laughs> I changed my needle out to make sure it was nice and um, sharp and stuff like that. And it wasn't gonna have any issues with tension or anything. All right, cross body strap is done. We'll set that aside. I'm trying to figure out like where I wanna put it. Put it in that bin. I don't really have a bin for this because I was, I was cutting it up literally this morning when I was so behind on everything. Hello, hello. I'm hoping to get this bag done in an hour. I literally did as much prepping as I could before I got started. my daughter's quinceanera this weekend for you guys don't know who what a quinceanera is it's a 15th birthday for a young girl it was amazing it was great we had so much fun with family and friends it turned out really well the dress stole the show obviously that was her intention when she chose that dress style. She was like, yep, I need to steal the show. Okay, that's one strap. Put that aside, do the next strap. And then I'm doing these strap connectors to really give it some more pop. getting on early enough so that way if I have to get my son at four we'll have to leave here by 3 30 but like I said I'm giving myself a one hour challenge let's see what we can do So this is the Emily's coat by Lauren Mormino. This is my staple, like always go to, I need something fast that's gonna make a statement kind of bag and it's this one. I 
I just got my jelly vinyl in from Brittany over at the Emporium. She has retail available, if I'm not mistaken, of um, jelly. So if you're looking for jelly vinyl, she's got it at her website, which is the Emporium or Emporium. I forgot which one it is. Um, not doing first week this time. I just didn't feel like it. Let's get all of our pieces assembled first. Let me move this over here. <clears throat> there we go. Now, let me go put this on um, so whatever to see if maybe someone who maybe doesn't know that I'm alive, that I'm live. just in case someone over there is like oh someone going live today hmm. should have done this earlier but didn't think about it so look at that isn't that cool It's kind of cool, huh? It's not coming out. That's all right. Okay. So, isn't that cool? I thought that would make enough of a statement with the black and the pink and the hot pink and everything like that. I thought that would make enough of a statement. So, that's what I did. Um, so, this is HTV. Um, heat vinyl transfer. Heat transfer vinyl, something like that. Um, and then these are my strap connectors. Um, this one is cut, this, these strap connectors are actually from a bag that Tori from Seamless Legit and I have been working together on. It's called the Empress and it should be coming out soon. Um, she's finally, she's getting her testers to do some stuff. Um, she's doing a couple of tweaks um, and then the pattern should be available soon. I'm super excited because I even got custom fabrics coming in for it. So amazing. All right, so I'm gonna grab two of these. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Normally we do like hidden strap connectors, but I really wanted to like show off the the black and the, like make make it like really bold. So. The hardware is from my website, GarnerSewingRoom.com. We have matte black hardware. We've got matte black zipper, we've got zip black zipper, black zipper tape, black on black zipper tape. So pretty. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. All right, so I'm peeling this back here. I put a strip of Decaville Heavy inside my strap connector so that when I have any weight on it, I don't have to worry about it. Like. I didn't want to have to worry about it not with hold, you know, holding up weight or anything. So just like that. Isn't that awesome? Mm, 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 mm. So, so nice. All right, I'm gonna get another piece of double-sided tape here in a second. The double-sided tape is from my website, GarnerSewingRoom.com. <laughs> um, I love this double-sided tape. It's my favorite. It's sticky without being crazy sticky. Um, will it make your needle gum up if you run through it plenty of times? Yes, but if you don't do it very often, it doesn't gum up as much as other ones do. So some of them, maybe if you just kind of get a close to it just one or two times, it's like, oh, goodness. But um, with this double-sided tape, if you go through it a couple times, it's not a big deal. Okay, so these lines here um, are the lines where I wanna line up the top of my
like the bar piece is where I want to line it up. Push it down like that and then I don't have a white belt. I'll wipe that off. A lot of head wipes here. It's pencil. It'll come off. Even if it doesn't, you can't really see it. All right, that's that right there. And then I'll do this one over here on this side. I tried doing the mom thing. It didn't work. Okay. There you go like that. Make sure it looks straight. Oh yeah, looks good, looks good. All right, let's sew it, okay. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of like where I hold my breath and be like, That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice accent. Make that thread color kind of like just pop off. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. As Shinova would say. Hey! As Shinova would say, um, chef's kiss. <laughs> Perfect. daughter's dress two days before the quinceanera and then I made her a circle bag and that's about all I've really done for sewing wise in the last couple of weeks um I was a little busy <laughs> I was a little busy just, just a little bit busy I don't have to tie these back because these are like really Barbie. I mean, come on now. The only thing that would make this better was would be like those pink rivets from New Moxie. I've been stalking her. And I was like, I really would like some pink rivets. That's okay. I think we'll do the matte black one. The black nickel, maybe? Not sure. You've been lazy? You know, you've been training your puppy, no sewing. Yeah, I get it. I want, I want a dog. I, I'm not gonna say I want a puppy, but I would like to have a dog. Um, I think that would be. I'm trying to see if I want one or two of these. See, this is where it starts slowing me down. Where I'm like looking at things like, hmm, could that look better like this? I don't necessarily want a puppy, but I would like to have a dog. Just, I don't know if I could deal with a puppy. Puppy, puppy. I think two of them would look really nice. I 
Oh, he's an eight month old pup. Yeah. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't think I could do it. Like, I almost like want to be like one of the people who like take adopt a dog that's, you know, needs a nice loving home and, um, you know, has already been potty trained and all that lovely stuff that that would be perfect. A cockapoo. Yeah. So I want, I was looking at a Bernadoodle and a, excuse me, what was I looking at? Oh, Bernadoodle or a gold, golden doodle. Those are the ones I was looking, looking at, but I don't know. The lawn people just outside. So you may hear them, but that's okay. So I'm just putting in my connectors, my rivets right now. And then I'll grab the rivet setter here in just a second and set the rivets. These are some pretty like hardy straps. I'm making the Emily tote by Lauren Morino. It's my go-to staple bag for anything that I really want to make a statement on. It's my favorite. I, I make all kinds of fun print fabrics to do the Lauren tote, I'm sorry, the Emily tote with. I love it. And she has this applique thing with it too, but I don't ever, <laughs> I've never actually used the applique portion of it. Like she's, I just like for the way that it's like the setup of it all, the, the size of the tote and everything. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice pattern. Like I said, it's my go-to. pretty fast when I'm not doing all these extra things. Look at that. That's so pretty. Okay, that one's done. Let's do this one. I even did my nails to match for the whole Barbie thing. <laughs> Miss Marquita was like, is, am I missing something? What's going on with Barbie all of a sudden? I was like, the movie's coming out. Like, Barbie's a thing right now. It was a Little Mermaid last month or two months ago, and now it's Barbie. I haven't seen The Little Mermaid yet. Don't tell anybody. It'll be our secret, okay? It's not that I, didn't, I don't want to see it. It's that I just have, I just don't feel like going to the movies. I, I just, I used to love going to the movies. Now I just don't really feel like it. But I've been a, about like that with a lot of things lately. So, what can you do? What can you do? This is that tape you just tear. It's on my website. I love this tape. I love this tape. I love this tape. It's amazing. I prepped all of my stuff ahead of time. 
taped and everything. Nothing came undone or anything. <laughs> you haven't seen it either? Okay. I won't tell if you don't tell, okay? All right, good. I was debating whether I should put something on the back of the bag or not, but I was like, I think it'll just be way too much. I think, I think it'll be too much. So I just decided only on the front piece. Hello guys. How you doing? <laughs> We've got campers in this week, so if you hear some kids, don't worry about it. We have smart kids in the other room with them. We've got fashion camp this week. They're all very intensely focused on the projects, though. Like some of their ideas are like, oh, that's nice. hand stitching for the last couple of like I wouldn't say it was two weeks it was on and off for about two weeks I think I'm good with dresses for a little while just saying because having to hand plate all of those like little gathers on the bodice of my daughter's dress and then put on all the applique and lace and everything like that it's a labor of love. I'm not gonna put that there because if I do, I'm just gonna lose it. It's a labor of love. This little rivet guide thing, I think it came from Jolie Lee Creations. I've been on a kick on getting like different things made into patterns. <laughs> what, you don't like hand stitching? <laughs> I had to, it was a very intricate dress. I mean, I guess I didn't have to, but it made a difference, you know? She really, really loved her dress. I think this is getting, no, it's not full. Oh, there we go. It's, it's, it goes down, so I have to re like, twist it back up the way it needs to be, and then I have the right amount of pressure. There you go, that's better. You can hear it kind of like, through it all. It's like the little donut hole part of it doesn't want to come out. Not a big deal because it's going through. Yeah. Okay. Where was I? Yup, 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 yup. Yes, she loved it. 
everybody loved the dress. So she had two dresses. One was custom made overseas. I didn't do it, but I helped with the whole, you know, telling them how she wanted it, and fitting her and sizing her and all that kind of stuff. Um, picking up the fabrics and all that stuff. So that was great. But then I also had extra fabric ordered um, so that I can make her a change of dress outfit. So that way she can, um, after all the festivities and everything, all the big stuff was over, she can change into her change, her change of outfit dress. So that way she can be comfortable like dancing and, and stuff like that. Hello guys. Um, so I was like, okay, so um, we did that and she loved the change of outfit dress. It looks very similar to her dress, but different because it was all the same fabric, same lace and all that stuff. I just had to put it all together. The only difference was, um, and then, um, and then she just, she loved it. She loved it. She was able to be a little bit more comfortable and actually get around and, and dance and have fun with her friends and stuff and our sisters because the first dress I'm telling you that dress was huge absolutely gorgeous but it was so big so big see anything past that. <laughs> like, can you see anything? No, you can't. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm, so pretty. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to get my bottom pieces to attach the bottom pieces. Yeah, she did. She had a blast. She had fun. Everybody had fun. Um... Her brother, that kid, he's so in love with his sister. He loves his sister. He danced with her, it was so sweet. It was so sweet. Okay, so now we're putting on the bottom piece. And this is when like the, it's like all of the, the black is gonna really tie in to everything. And that's why I really thought that the black, the matte black hardware would just be like perfect. putting this the snips in different spots every time I'm like where did it go I just had it okay so I'm going to do the joining stitch on the other piece and then I can <clears throat> excuse me then I can um, do the top stitching getting more of the clips by Lauren Marmino, the glitter clips. We're getting the emerald and black ones and we're doing the purple and the pink ones again. Because everybody loves those. I'm not sure if I'm going to get more tins though. I just had to buy so many tins before. It, had to, it, just, it took over a year to get through all those tins. that 
stitch up. Okay, and I'm really want to like butterfly this so I can stitch on both. I don't know, man, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, the butterfly would be better. A butterfly would be better. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, a butterfly. Once I get it good and going, then I just like run my finger up underneath it. I just pivot and move on over to the other side. It just makes it easier for me to do it that way. So pretty. Guys, that's so pretty. With my sewing machine? Yes. I make her entire dress on this sewing machine. I make all kinds of things on this sewing machine. That's what I like about this machine. It's more universal than um, the walking foot machines. The walking foot machines you have to do a lot of tweaking for them to be able to not tear up some fabric, some, you know, non-interfaced fabrics. this machine so much that we bought 10 more of them for the other side just like it so that we could do garment classes as well as um, bag making quilting anything really that's what I love about it you're welcome yeah I don't want a bunch of different machines either I mean, I get, I know why there's so many different types of machines, you know, because everything has its own specialty, but unless you're doing it for your, um, or did you see my video? Yeah. Unless you're doing this for like a living to just like really like knock out a lot of things all the time, I don't know if it's worth the investment to do all different types of machines, if that makes sense. Because every machine has its, you know, pros and cons. I have a bag pattern coming out with Tori from Seems Legit. So keep your eyes out on that. Um, it'll be on her website. But we've kind of collaborated together with it and then i've also made um custom vinyls and fabrics to go along with with it so and tori was definitely an inspiration for that fabric collection um it was really great working with her and all that stuff i can't wait to we do something else when we get to do something else it's gonna be like what <laughs> I know I just picked up all those clips and then I take them out again. Like, 
pick them up and put them back out. Pick them up, put them back out. Don't worry about me. Here's my habit. It's just my habit just to sweep them and put them in. I know, right? Did you catch it last night? I, I watched her last night too um, for a little while. I was exhausted. I've, I've, I've been exhausted, obviously, from the quinceanera. It's it's a three-day event kind of thing, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, you know, family in town. You know, setting up the hall and everything. It's just been, whew. Oh, hi, Melissa. Do you want to um, borrow my daughter's dress for your wedding? Was that you who asked for it? Someone asked me, so can I can I have your daughter's dress for my wedding? I was like, sure. <laughs> Come borrow it. <laughs> I'm like, sure. Come get it. It took up the entire trunk and um, took up the entire trunk and back seat of my car. So just be prepared. move that up there because I know soon as I forget that it's underneath this piece it's gonna fall right on the floor and then I'll be very upset. Wait, my diet. I love this cup. It says village crazy lady. Oh it wasn't you Melissa? Okay. I don't know who it was. It was someone, someone who frequents my channel, and I know you do, so I was like, maybe it was Melissa. It could have been a different Melissa, too. I know it's so bright. It is, like, amazing pink. And it is just popping right off with this black. It's just like, ooh, we thank you. Mm, mm, mm. I am loving this. I'm not usually a pink kind of gal, but I painted my nails pink. I got all this. It's the whole Barbie thing, right? I think it's the whole Barbie thing. The whole Barbie vibe. You gotta love it. You've been married for. <laughs> it wasn't you, you've been married too. I don't know who it was. It was, maybe it was Heather. Oh, I think it was Heather. I think it was Heather. I think Heather's getting married. I don't know. I think it's Heather. I'll have to see later. Ooh, that dress. My business partner and I were like, okay, how can we get more use of this dress, right? So, um, not my husband. My husband can, you know, he's like, yeah, whatever. But my um, my business partner, her and I were like, oh, let's do a princess-themed tea party and have my daughter dress up as Tiana because it's such a Tiana-inspired dress um, from Princess and the Frog. And I was like, oh, yeah. Get some more girls, dress them up in some nice costumes. Make we obviously we're gonna be making the dresses ourselves and having like tea party kind of thing, you know? I think they would love it. Take pictures of the princess. Princess tea party. Get pictures of princesses. That would be so cool. Not running out of bobbin, am I? I hope not. I'm not. I sure have sewn a lot, so it's very possible that I'm getting close. <laughs> My 
my husband and I have been married for 13 years. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing how time flies. All right. Oh, this pink is just amazing. Oh, this final is good. I got this as a sample. Like, I just bought it really fast as a sample and paid express shipping to get it in because I was like, I really want to make this Barbie bag. And because I don't really carry a lot of solid colored vinyls. I mostly just carry, like, the printed stuff. But I think I'm going to just branch out to do some kind of, like, bold ones. You know, like, things that, you know, you're like, okay, I have to go there to get this, like, hot neon pink or I really I gotta go to her website to get like you know an electric blue or something I don't know those are just my thoughts I am using a tech 70 bond a tech 70 bonded I think it is um, yeah, I think it's check 70. I've had it for like two years now. I don't ever really use pink. Like I said, I'm not really a pink kind of person. Um, I don't, I used it once for a custom order that I had and then I never used it again. And then I was like, what color should I do? I was really, I was really going to use black. I really was. I was going to use black thread. And then something told me, no, you've got pink. Use the pink. I was like, that's right, let's use the pink. I know I'm clipping the mess out of this, but it's because I really want to make sure of that. Is somebody calling me? No. Oh, yeah, the yellow and teal zipper tape. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've had this really, like, bright hot pink um, webbing. And I haven't really had much use for it, really, because I, I, it, it wasn't the shade of pink I thought it was going to be. Um, <laughs> so it was, like, real bright, like this kind of bright. And it's perfect for this bag. It's, like, this is what it is right here. You see how it's like pink, but it's kind of like shimmery and stuff. So it's so pretty. It goes so well with this. So I made the crossbody with it. That is perfect, isn't it? I was like, that is perfect. So now I'm doing that with this. So yeah. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay, get back together. Get back together. Yes, I talked to my fabric. And I tell it, get it messed together. Guys, all summer has gone by and I have yet to really have a summer vacation. I think it's like their first year. But I haven't really done anything. Excuse me, I'm eating popcorn. And I think it's because I had to. Oh, hi! I haven't made the Catalina yet, but I hear it's really nice. I'm glad. I'm glad I could hear, I could, uh, inspire you to cut out oh goodness <clears throat> it shifted <clears throat> oh no there you go wipe right off um <laughs> drip some on there i'm so professional <laughs> oh i could just hear my husband Oh, 
actually, I need to go this direction. I need to go the, the same direction I went last time. So I need to flip these over. Um, you're probably wondering like, what are you doing? So if I come from the top to the bottom, I like to sew top to bottom. So it doesn't have any like shifting happening. I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid because I've had a couple of bags kind of go a little wonky on me and then I'm like, Ugh. I didn't win Bob and Roulette today. I didn't win. But I knew it was getting close. I knew I could hear it, but I was just like, one more stitch. Well, the good thing is it's not like on a top stitch. So that's when it really matters. That's, that's what I say. It really matters if you're doing a top stitch and your stitches run out and your bobbin runs out. If not, who cares, right? You could, I had an extra one right there. I had, I got you, see? I got you, got me today, Bobbin. Not today. Not today, Bobbin. Well, actually, he did get me, but he didn't get me, get me because I had an extra one. All right. So this is something else that I do with the Emily tote is I butterfly this seam open as well and I stitch it. I know it sounds really, but it, I promise it works. It works really well. So what I do is I come from the top. This is a little weird. It's a little awkward, a little awkward, but it works. It just gives it an extra mm, kind of thing to it. I don't know what to say. And you kind of have to kind of go like that and then peek through the hole somehow. Where is it? There's the hole. There we go. And readjust and keep going. And you just have to keep readjusting. things like this I think really is what makes something go Ooh, they took time to do like how did they do that that's what I want them to say I want them to be like oh goodness how did she do that okay pivot now coming back is easier <laughs> because I'm not fighting it as much. But I'll show you here in a second what it looks like. I'll show you guys, because it's, I, I love the way this looks personally. That's why I do it. real fast so you guys can see Mr. J you see that I mean it just gives it a little extra something I don't know it just mm, makes it look so pretty so pretty 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 all right let's do this other side this I love this vinyl I am loving this vinyl they sent me samples like like uh the color changing kind and like going to dark ones and stuff but i think this one is my favorite like the texture and everything is just right i love it 
it's got texture to it, but it's not like overly textured, if that makes sense. It doesn't. Yeah, this is what I'm planning on selling. If I order it tonight, it'll be here by the 15th. officially was last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 was last Thursday, last Tuesday, goodness, um, and then we have to try, try our kids again this, this weekend, right, so my son's birthday is tomorrow, and then his birthday party is on Sunday, so I've been a little busy, and I haven't really had much time to do, like, you know, fun sewing. So I'm really having fun right now. Busy mama, yeah. Hey, Miss Tanya. Yes, busy, busy, busy. I'm gonna need a vacation though, soon. <laughs> I'm gonna need a vacation. All right, so we've got that there. And then look how nice that everything just lays so nicely. I mean, I'm not even really pulling on it. It is just nice. It lays so nice. Actually, I need to do it from this side. So I like to sew with this side up because I don't sew from edge to edge that doesn't look right I sew literally from this top stitch to this top stitch on this side on this side so from the outer top stitch to the other outer top stitch so from this line to this line is where I stitch it comes out really nice I guess my whole one hour challenge is out the window because I'm being extra today That's all right. I get to enjoy your all's company. Well, I sew and do something fun because who doesn't love Barbie? I know Shanova was talking about how she was, um, she used to get like all the Barbie Christmas holiday Barbies and stuff like that. I used to get my daughter holiday Barbies. She didn't like them. <laughs> she liked their dresses. But she just couldn't do their hair or anything, so she didn't like it. So we got her like one that she could do the, the hair and she loved it. She just wanted to do the hair. That's all. Fix her hair. All right, so that's that. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, this is so nice. All right, you ready? You ready for this? Because this is like the halfway point. Actually, we're beyond the halfway point because all we have to do is the lining pieces, really. Okay. Gonna put some more heat on that. I'm gonna turn it again. But look at that. Mm-hmm. Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. Love it. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'm just throwing these on the ground. Ugh. Zipper. Oh, it is so pretty, isn't it? I love it. I right, got my bigger zipper. Zipper, 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 zipper. Oh.
That's what I was missing, the zipper end. But I think I'm gonna make one out of pink vinyl, like the hot pink vinyl. Mm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use a zipper, zipper end instead. only thing I really need pins at my sewing station for when it comes to bag making is when I'm doing this Barbie zipper like the Barbie head like the silhouette as a zipper pull that would be really nice I don't know if I can get that made in time for the 15th not like the 15th is my absolute deadline or anything but I like to try to have at least certain things together. I don't have to, I don't, I wish, wish I would have thought of that, but I didn't think about that. Well, honestly, I didn't think that this whole Barbie phenomenon was going to happen. You know? It's amazing. would be cool. Barbie zipper pull. Mm -hmm. All right, so set that aside for a second because I need to prep my pieces. have it so that it's the same so I haven't read the pattern and I don't know how long so if this may or may not be in the pattern I don't know all I know is I like to mark one inch from the edge there we go one inch from the edge mark it Okay, same thing with this one. Silver marking pen shows up on this, just not as much. So once I do that, then I like to get my one inch zipper, not zipper, one inch double sided tape. And go like that. I wonder if new Moxie's coming out with um, Barbie zipper pulls. She's always got like cool things like that. Maybe Zorel or what's the other one? That really has a really cool zipper. Zipper Valley, I think it's called. I don't know. I try to support a lot of them, but then I, was, I make, I also get stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to like, be like, oh yeah, I need some more of that. And no, I really don't. You know what I mean? Did someone message me? No. Oh, I think it's because um, Kasai is going on. I think that little flash through my thing is, things is those notifications. 
Kasaya is coming on live. She'll be here at the end of August doing a workshop. She's doing a workshop on Friday and then she's doing another one on Saturday. No, Saturday and Sunday, sorry. She's doing a workshop on Saturday and then Sunday. And we've got the fabrics picked out for the, for it and it's so cool. It's so cool, I, I can't wait. Okay, so those are those two. Now I'm doing the other side. That way it just kind of keeps everything uniform. That's that's why I like to do that. I'm sure it's in the pattern like that. And I didn't think about that myself, obviously, but I learned it somehow, somewhere. And this just so well with the See, some vinyls have a different type of backing to it that it just doesn't like double-sided tape. But this one is very nice. Very nice, very nice. I like it. I don't. You know, I maybe I should have just a Facebook group just for the supplies portion of it, um, but I don't. Oh, yeah, that's how I, I tag myself on that on that side for bag making supplies. Yeah, because it's all on the same website. It's still all gone or sewing room. And then I like to mark where I'm going to start, stop, start and stop. It's pretty much, I start right on the other side of that one inch and then go from there. All right, so now on this one, I use the thinner tape. This is a quarter inch tape. And then um, the eighth inch sometimes I use for the zipper tape as well. It just depends on my mood, really. I just feel like I've been neglecting my quarter inch a little too much lately. I need some loving. So I'm just thinking to myself, okay, this is something I could have done ahead of time as well. Like prepping this kind of stuff makes it a little faster. Like, cause I had prepped all of my handles and connectors and everything before I came on. I was in the other room helping the kids with their stuff. Um, and I just, in between helping them with things, I just started cutting things out. how I do it. Okay. And I'm just lining up the edge, the zipper tape on the edge of that vinyl. I want to go down a little further. I find if I start too, too close up here, it gets too bulky. There we go. That's better. Like over here. 
where the zipper pull goes. Oh yeah, that's better. Bam, thank you, ma'am. Done. One side. Okay. Now I can unzip it. So it makes it easier to kind of sew it down. You know, I'm really concentrating and I'm not talking a lot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really concentrating right now. Y'all, okay. look at that. Oh, it's looking, it's looking out. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, that is so nice. Mm. I was debating on using black and or pink for the lining and I said, no, let me do gray, like a charcoal gray. So it'll really help make that black and pink pop and it doesn't like overwhelm it. Um, this is a new vinyl that I just got from a, as a sample from a supplier here in the United States. Um, and it kind of feels like a marine vinyl, but it's not stretchy like a marine vinyl, if that makes sense. So it's really, really nice. So I'm hoping to go ahead and um, have this available on the website soon. Because why not? I really wanted something kind of like colorful and that pops and because I love Bodio. I really, really love Bodio because my black came from Bodio. Um, but just sometimes just if I need to get the exact same thing. Sometimes I either have to wait for it to come back in or it gets discontinued, um, which is the only bad thing. I think I've only had discontinued once, once. You're in, the, in uh, Michigan in the United States. Yeah, I'm in the United States too. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of different. And so, yeah, hopefully I'm gonna be carrying it. If I, like the, the guy told me if I put in the order, you know, by the end of the month, I should have it in store by the 15th um which is actually a pretty good turnaround time really and i'll sell it in like that um the 18 inch rolls is what i was thinking i could sell it in Oh, this is so pretty. This is very pretty, guys. The more I look at this pink, the more I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Yeah, it's not stretching at all, guys. I love it. Because usually when I do this top stitching part here, I can notice by the end of the time I go to here, it's kind of like shifting. It's like a ripple in it, and it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that at all today. It's just so... It's very smooth. Smooth operator. <laughs> Don't get me singing. Oh, it's a burnt orange. Yeah, see, some marine vinyls, they have, like, this stretchy, like, stretchiness to it. So, this one feels like a marine vinyl, but it doesn't stretch. So, I don't know, but I like it. 
it's nice. It's got a little texture to it. It's not so, it's not like smooth, smooth. I like it. And this one, I go the opposite direction. I start from the back and then I go to the front. Don't know why, but I do. Move that zipper pull out of the way. We need a whole neon line. Yeah, I know we do. We do need a neon line. Neon blue, neon green, neon yellow, neon pink, neon purple. All right, let's see if I can make that happen. You want to go back to the 80s? I was born in the 80s. I don't I don't know if I really did much. You know, because I was born in 82, so I kind of enjoyed it, but I was like a baby. A little. But I like the fashion. I like the colors. I don't think I can go for like the 70s like shag carpet though. Just pull it out. Get out get it out of the garage. Do you have it in the garage? <laughs> get your get your 80s stuff out. Do it. So you're a year younger than me. My husband was born in 1971. It's amazing. Guys, this is looking so nice. Already 40. I'm 40. I'm 41 now, right? Yeah, I'm 41. I had myself turning 40 a whole year before I was actually turning 40. My husband's like, you know you're really not turning 40, right? I was like, oh. I wonder how long this bag is going to last on the website. keep saying it but I just I can't it's so pretty I can't stop touching it it's so pretty oh look at the gray with the pink 
see, that was a good decision. I think that was a great decision using the charcoal black, and charcoal, whatever it's called, the charcoal. <laughs> You don't think it'll take long to sell? I don't think so either. I have to press that real fast. I hope not because let me tell you something. Mom broke. I'm gonna start selling some stuff. Cause Jeans and Yetas, man, they're not cheap. But they're actually like compared to a lot of Jeans and Yetas. This one was very economical and everything. My daughter was not like wanting really crazy over the top stuff. It was more about her family being there. And the dress. The dress. Oh, the crank does look really nice with it, doesn't it? Tighten that up a little bit. I'm making a cargo pocket because that's what I do. I make cargo pockets for just about everything. my signature thing, I guess. <laughs> I think it gives a little extra room, especially if you can have a big tote bag like this, you need to have compartments to put things, you know? You can have compartments, man. in like that okay that's nice that like them put the center into the center line it up with some rulers There we go. It lines up perfectly with the sides. It doesn't go into the side too. And I did not do that on purpose. I literally just cut right in pieces. Because there's no pattern piece for this. I just use whatever's left over and I cut something. <laughs> My daughter a circle bag yesterday the Magda Magdalena is what she wanted for her bag she's been wanting a circle bag like a year now 
And I was like, okay, I'll make you a circle back for your birthday. I didn't get it done by her birthday because I had to get her dress done for her birthday party. But I got it done yesterday. Plus like three other bags. I just have to do top stitching. Um, and I had run out of bobbin like right towards the end of all of them. So it's like you can't just wind half of a bobbin kind of thing. So I have to like, strategically pull all of them together with the same color and then do the top stitching. <clears throat> so yeah, all that is so nice. It's so nice. I like that. Getting all of our pieces together. All right. I didn't have the quarter inch double sided tape at the cutting table in the other room with me so that's why I didn't do that part in prep but everything else I had half inch because I have half inch at my cutting station because I know that that's the most common one that I use when it comes to like straps and things like that so I like to make sure I have that one on hand when I'm making that on cutting table well the good thing is, is like I'm actually um looking at moving into the office that my husband used to occupy well he still occupies it right now but um <laughs> and moving in the sewing studio like the the recording portion of this stuff in there and actually have like a cutting table in that room with everything else um I'm hoping that that would make it easier because there's not a window where when people come in, it's like, hi, and they're like, I'm like, hi. You know, I don't mind by any means. I just don't want you guys getting annoyed when I'm on, like, on a live or something and you're like, who she talking to? Well, to myself, but to you. Yeah, okay. Just wanna make sure I got that clear. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. But I'm talking to you. You keep the quarter inch at your station. Yeah, you have it on the machine. I have all three sizes at my machine. And um, Tori from Seems Legit, she um, I actually wholesale my zipper tape to her. And um, the, the double sided tape, I wholesale it to her. And she got sold out within like two weeks of buying it the first time. So it went ahead and ordered some more and she's got, some, and it just got delivered, but she got three quarters of an inch instead of half inch. And that's so much better for straps. So I think the next time I order for my side, for me, for my business, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, um, three quarters of an inch. creator or do me what 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 and I was like oh but I mean the whole window thing yeah I think it also helps with me not being distracted too because I have my squirrel moments I'm like squirrel you know I think it'll help me stay focused too <laughs> maybe <laughs> I might get focused <laughs> interruptions happen right yeah that's so true. 
I'm just tying these off in the back because um, with it being kind of thin with the waterproof canvas, it doesn't quite back stitch the way I like it without looking kind of like, ooh, like what is that? I think so. I learned that from a. Uh... Yeah, take that pup out. Take it out. <laughs> Don't let me hold you up. Take that puppy out. <laughs> um. What was I saying? See what I mean? Squirrel. Um. It's harder to do this with a seamer for when I used to use my scissors. I'm not gonna lie, a hot pink zipper tape with hot pink zipper teeth with this gray lining would probably look really nice. It'll just kind of set things off a little bit, but I don't have that. <laughs> All I have is like a pink with rainbow teeth and I don't, I didn't really care for the rainbow with this combination. What was I doing now? Oh. what I'm doing right now. I don't even know why I did that. I don't even put that on there yet. But I do need to burn the edges just so it doesn't. Okay. This is what I need to do. Remember I put that there because I'm going to probably forget where I put it. tiny white polka dots. I thought it went, went so well with the whole bag. I was like, oh, that'd be great. And it was literally in my like scrap bin. It was perfect size for a pocket. Perfect pocket size. And I was like, oh, that'd be great. So um, I really do think that the other spot where the 
where his office is right now would make really good. It's about the same size as this office. Um, but I really do think it'll be worth it to have like a cutting station in the room. That way you guys can, I can do cutting videos and sewing videos, not just sewing videos. Cause sometimes I'm kind of, you know, interesting when I'm cutting stuff out. Like my thought process half the time, nobody knows really. Like this bag here, I just came together cause I was like, okay, what can I do with Barbie? and. And I was like, oh, we're gonna do that hot pink, fat, fat, you know, vinyl from that, from, from my new um, vendor. I was like, let me see if that'll work. And then it just all came together, really. I have to stand up and look over it so I can see that my teeth are, yeah, they're straight or not. There we go. Okay, now I can go back this side. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. kind of like see what I'm doing. Oh yes, 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 yes. Love it when a plane comes together. So pretty together. It looks so nice. No, it's not gonna do it. That one's already knotted up. To worry about that little piece right there because I can just fold that up. And then I thought this tag would be great in it. It says cut and sewn by hand. Right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. I need 
to get some like multicolored ones from Heartwood and Hyde. Like have some ones that are gray and pink and all these other colors because I'm like, I make bags of all different colors. And I don't want to be like, oh, I can't put my name tag on it because it's not the same color or something like that. Because I don't have all the finishes. The major finishes that I have are um, rainbow and antique brass because those are the ones I us usually use the most of. But I can get behind like some really colorful ones. Oh guys, look at that. It's so pretty. Okay. Oh, it's three o'clock. I got 30 more minutes. Well, really 45. I have 45 minutes, guys. You're probably like, what boy? I gotta get myself. <laughs> He doesn't go to school. He goes to camp. He goes to karate camp. Karate. Mm. Okay, good. The camera angle is really good too. That's great. I was hoping so because that way you guys can see more of what I'm doing. I wanna go live with Tori again. I think we're gonna go live together to do the uh, Empress bag once it releases. We do like a grand release kind of thing. All right, so that's, that's there. And now I've gotta do this. Really, just a couple more pieces and we are done. I should be done in 30 minutes. Okay, here's the secret. It's not pretty sides touching, it's lining sides touching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that because I have done it plenty of times where I'm like just zooming through it and I'm like, oh man, I forgot I had to, um, I'm like pretty size touching, pretty size touching. And then I'm like, no, it's not pretty size touching. See, this is another thing that I forgot to do while I was at the cutting table. It's just do my notches. Do, do your notches. Do, do, do your notches. I want to go live sewing with Shinova. I think, I think our, I think we would be have, we'll have fun. Like I remember when I went um, on live with um, with Brittany. It was fun. She was helping me with the, with birthing my bag. If you don't know, I I, I don't know what to tell you. Um. Yeah, and then um, I always have fun when I go on live with Tori, too. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, it can't help you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. 
like the Caribbean people say, we're cooking with gasoline. Gasolina. <laughs> cooking with gasoline. There you go. I think that just means we're like on a roll. Like we're really like getting something done now. No. Darn it. Broke the needle. It's always when I do that back stitch too fast. It always happens. No. I was doing so well. At least I didn't lose the needle in there. Am I out of 18s? Seriously. Nope. Got another pack left. Well, it's like half a pack. I gotta put in my order from way back. Well, whack. Well, whack. Way back. Well, whack. I don't know if anybody who says it the same way twice. Slow down, Sandra. Slow down. Okay. See? All right. about it is I don't even really need a back stitch right there because it's not like a permanent like that's just a basting stitch but no I have to go oh Change it to a 3.5 stitch length. looking over there because I don't want to knock over the camera. It's not, that would not be good. That would not be good. All right, let me do the other side and then I can do my top stitching. Guys, we're almost there. 
feel like you've been saying that for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I really mean it this time. That's like me telling my husband I'm ready to go when I'm at the fabric store. Yeah, only 20 more minutes. He does not come with me to the fabric store, by the way. But I'm sure that's what it would be like. But he does do pickup orders for me. Like sometimes I'll have um, pickup orders at Joanne's, but he'll get them for me. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, so pretty. I'm like drooling over this bag. And I can't keep it. Why, you ask? That's a good question. Because I have enough bags at home. whole bottom part of my closet is full of my bags that I've made myself. I don't keep any of the other bags. I only keep bags that I make myself. The other bag, like, other bags, I, you know, if they're not like my style or whatever, I, you know, I'll give them to people or I'll give them to my daughter or someone says they like it, I'll give it to them. The bags I make myself, for me, I keep them. I have a couple of them that have been sitting in the closet for two years. And they're gonna stay in the closet. <laughs> Which bag do I use the most? Well, that's a good question because I go through styles too, a lot. I currently have the um, Sandhill Sling by Noodlehead. Um, love the pattern. I have found out that slings are not my thing. I don't like slings. I like crossbody better. So um, the one that I used the most recently was the one with Mormino by Sincerely Gen Patterns. I made that one at 85% and it was perfect just for me. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. So before I go too far, I like to add my little D rings and offset where they go here so that it's not in the bulk. Um, well, either that or I could do it on the side seam. I think I'm gonna do it on these sides, opposite sides. Where did I put those pieces? Oh, there they are. <laughs> so where did I put those pieces? I don't like that. It just helps with the bulkiness. See, I should have just done it like right in this seam, but I forgot. So it's okay. I'll do it there. Usually I do it in this bottom seam, but. No, because then this will stick out. So yeah, I'm gonna do it on the side seam. So I quickly change my mind. <laughs> I just my mind really quickly. Oh, you ended up selling yours. Yeah, the one I made myself with 85% was with my fabric. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I still have it. It's not like I don't have it. I can pull it out tomorrow and start using it again. But I'm trying to use the, the, the Sandhill Sling for a little bit longer before I retire it. 
because I love the colors. It's like this beautiful dark turquoise water, um, not water resistant. It's a uh, wax canvas. Oh, so, so, so nice. So nice. Um, so it was just like, you know, it was, it was nice. It was nice. Slipping on my little threads, they drive me crazy. Okay, it was very, and I did my, I did like my first time doing like applique with cork. It was so pretty. Is that what they do? Yeah. Say it. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. There you go. No. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Come. Get, get, get off my finger. My tape won't come off my finger. I was trying to shortcut it and it's not working. I need to, <laughs> I need to put double sided tape inside there too. Okay. Okay. So instead of this, like this is the exact same way that um, Lauren does it in her bag. She just has this on the outside of the bag. I'm putting this on the lining portion of the bag. Um, I just find that for me, it's kind of like out of the way. So if you're not using it as a crossbody, it's not like poking out or anything. So yeah, that's just my reason thing for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that. Put that down like so and stitch it down. I'll turn it inside out for you guys to see it in a second. third one. Take that bobbin. No, don't run away. <laughs> Not you, bobbin. You're good. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so it's got to go up there. Okay. Gonna pull it. And it's on the inside of the bag, so guess what? Nobody gonna see it. It didn't look too bad either. It kind of matched it up pretty well. stitching and stuff like I really did because I did extra top stitching <laughs> but I had to it made it look so pretty I had to it made it look pretty 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 come back you down there <laughs> there 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 I used a lot of thread but a lot of nice top stitching and you can't go wrong with that you got some beautiful top stitching So it doesn't undo itself. I like to kind of like go like this and clip it. The safety pin. It's extra, I know. But I don't like it uncoming done. <laughs> My zipper pulling off. Any kind of resistance is better than nothing else. All right, let's do this for a second. My decals are kind of like. started kind of turning up a little bit so that means I just had to have a little bit more heat and pressure to it um, I'm doing it from the inside of the bag so that my iron isn't touching the like a clapper thing kind of like helps with the heat without having to like put heat on it I'm holding it and holding it I'm holding it 
and cross my fingers. So I make this whole bag and this decal comes off. I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, it's just right there at the very tippy tip tip. Can you hear? I'm not enough, Lauren. You're not enough without me. Um, heat and bond with HTV. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, because it's like putting two glues together, I guess. Well, maybe. I don't know. let that like sit there for a few minutes I think it's I think it's working you can tell that the HTV is sticking onto the vinyl when it like it the HTV looks like the vinyl like if the vinyl's textured and it starts being textured that means it's really adhered to each other so I was just going too fast earlier when I did it I could use heat and bond instead of HGV. Yes. And do like an apple cake kind of thing. Yeah. I can. I think the next one I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna cut out Barbie silhouette out of vinyl and then stitch it on like apple cake. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I think it would be really cool. Okay, looking much better. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get this puppy on the road. Pretty sides touching. I like to clip my centers and then my, or my sides and then my centers. This is how I've always been. If you have done anything with heat and bond in a cricket, you can definitely do that. You can even do hand, you can cut it out by hand too. You just have to be very precise and use some really good scissors. Like those little precision scissors would work fine. Alright guys, let's see what we got here. 
and turn. This is like when I've been engulfed by the bag. Always want to feel to make sure you're not going to hit anything. You still have to learn your cricket. Yeah. It was a bit of a learning curve for me too, but the good thing is, is my sister did so much on cricket for so long that she was able to really help me when I got stuck. And now, now I'm pretty good at it. I can't do much more than like t-shirts and stuff, but HTV for t-shirts. <laughs> That's about what I can do. I can't do like some people. They just they can do all kinds of stuff on their crickets. It's amazing. This is what I love about this bag. I literally just pull it out this way. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, before I go too far, I'm going to close up my bottom. I may have to just turn this bag inside out and then um, put pictures up later because I have to go get my son. His camp finishes at four and I'm... Yeah, Barbie stayed. See? I gotta get my baby. He's not, he's not my baby. He is, but he isn't. He's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big boy. He'll be 10 years old tomorrow. Like, I just kind of swing it around. He gets so excited when I get him from camp too. He's always very happy to see me. Not that he's not happy to see his dad when his dad gets him, you know, but he's always like, where's mommy? <laughs> if he gets him and I'm not there, he's like, where's mommy?
it's a boy thing with their mom. mamas. Girls love their mamas too. But it's just something different. Alright, I'm going to put the tag that says you look really pretty today on the inside. Because of course, Barbie looks pretty every day. Be your version of Barbie. get that in there that in there oh this is laying so Great. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm barely having to like maneuver this vinyl. Like it is just sitting so well when I turned it. Oh goodness. Just a little tug and it's falling right in line. Get some wet wipes to take off the pencil marks. And then we are good. I think it looks amazing and then obviously I'll put my little we'll put these on just so you guys can kind of have a little preview of what it's gonna look like just gonna rivet those on later after I do my top stitching but look at that oh yes guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching me um, make this bag um, look for it on my website because I'll be putting it for sale so um, yeah thank you guys so much appreciate it